Good morning. Welcome to a happy, happy Friday with us here on the morning app at 8.01 in the morning. I'm Howie C. We have Joshua Kornmeyer, Chris Kokenberg, and Taylor Ann Wade. I remember the last time I said Taylor's name, and I didn't say it all the way through. I said Taylor, and she looked at me, and she was ready to choke me out. She Which is just so did. mad. Yeah. <laughs> she does not like that at all. No. But well, we how would here. you like it if we called you How? Instead of Howie. I did that yesterday. That's what you're doing No, her. but that's my, like, no. That's your name? <laughs> yeah. Taylor Ann's name. Howard is my okay, name. Okay, the other thing is, Taylor Ann is three syllables, same as Caroline. And if people can't say three syllables because it's too long, I swear, we are the laziest generation ever. <laughs> well, my name is Joshua, and I get Josh constantly. But you, but you, you go, go by, by Josh. Josh. I don't. I go by Joshua. You have no. Never no, you're lying. I, I, I introduce myself as Joshua. Everyone else just goes with Josh. Okay, fine, Joshua. How was your day? <laughs> well, <laughs> how are you doing? Well, it Joshua? clearly doesn't bother you. I mean, my thing my is, it bothers is, me when people don't call me my name. My name so is I Joshua. Them. But see, we're a lazy society, and everyone just goes to Josh. But can't, see, can't fix them all. To be fair, I have one of those names where you can't make a nickname out yeah. of it. It's just Kristen, and you can't really shorten it, and you can't do much with it. So I, I am kind of jealous of people that have a nickname or go by their middle name or something cool like that. Well, I'm okay with nicknames like T.A. or something we if do you, call you don't want to say something yeah. as long as Taylor Ann. But Taylor is a name, you know? It's not a nickname. So unless, what, yeah. What, what about instead of T.A., we do a sound for you like Ta. Actually, I'm okay with that too. <laughs> I I love nicknames. I think it makes it's per, it, it's personal. And so to me, I'm like, oh my gosh, you care. Like, yeah. we have like a friendship where it's like cool enough for me to have a nickname. But um, <laughs> no, yeah, I like anything fun, unique, or whatever. Just not Taylor because that's not unique. That's technically like not your name. That would be like, is if we called you John instead of Josh. Technically, exactly. so I get where you're coming from. That and yeah. people will call you that all the time. And I'm like inside dying. I'm like it's Taylor. Ann. Actually, that's the best <laughs> part. Like I have friends who will tell me they were talking to somebody and they said my name was taylor and they'll correct other people for me and like when that comes the thing i'm yeah. like yes i have trained my friends well names are a weird thing when you think about it though yeah. like that's your name forever unless you decide to change it mm. i think it's weird you know <laughs> what else thought. you know what else i think is weird though what myths i love myths <laughs> let alone i love debunking myths and you Here know that go. very well josh Oh, gosh. We're not talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I love Halloween. It's got to be my second favorite holiday next to Christmas, obviously. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's the one time where I'm basic. But Halloween myths debunked. This is actually quite interesting. <laughs> um, I don't know if you know this, but I think a lot of people don't celebrate Halloween because they think it's a bad holiday or whatever. I love it. I am about it. Um, but... Did you know that a common myth is that animal shelters won't allow black cats to be adopted over Halloween um, mm. because there used to be a fear of like that people would harm the black cats yeah. in order to you know stay safe on Halloween or something like that? Yeah. That's well, horrible. Yeah, but it's, a, it's actually a myth. Shelters will allow you to adopt black cats during the month of October. Um, they actually sometimes do promotionals with it. This was a thing, though, back in the 80s and 90s where you could not do this. Uh, well, I'm glad they changed that because now we actually have something we can sacrifice on Halloween. I mean, otherwise, I don't Josh. know what else we'd sacrifice. Joshua. Seriously? What? I mean, yeah, black sorry. cats. Joshua. Sense. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go with it. Okay. Well, there's the door. Um, but <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, another it's myth is that it's all about pumpkins. So obviously Halloween wouldn't be Halloween without jack-o'-lanterns carving pumpkins. I think I'm going to do that tonight. Very excited. But it was actually originally carvings out of turnips. Turnips. What? Turnips, Why? whatever those are. I don't know what those are. Yeah, you are. didn't know that? You don't know what a turnip is? Yeah, I don't care that much. <laughs> but <laughs> I eat the same three things. But they used to put a candle inside the turnip to represent a soul being trapped in purgatory. So it's not, it never actually started with pumpkins. Huh. But that, I feel like that's like kind of towards like religious holidays. Yeah. Witchcraft kind of stuff. Maybe. I mean. Um, well, purgatory is a Catholic thing. Well. Yeah, because it actually started off as a Catholic holiday. Oh, All Hallows, no. Hallows Wait, Eve. What? Yeah, All Hallows Eve was a Catholic holiday. It's the evening before All Saints Day and two nights before All Souls Day. So, wow, I have been misinformed my entire life. Halloween <laughs> is not a Catholic holiday. 
Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Wait, oh, they stole it from the Catholic because they saw how cool the Catholics were. Okay, <laughs> okay, that makes where, sense. Where it stemmed from, I think, is nobody really knows where this holiday came from. And technically, Americans are Actually, the only ones that really celebrate it. Yeah. Didn't it they don't do it in other countries. Well, isn't like with the candy skulls and all that stuff, didn't it come from that? celebration that's yeah because technically november 1st the day of the dead yeah isn't that where but halloween stems from you don't know because there's also this all hallows eve catholic holiday there's um a few other holidays that yeah. people think that it came from but no one really huh. knows um and then i think some european countries like england have started to adopt halloween because they think it's a cool fun holiday yeah. um so they'll start to celebrate it but really it's an it's like an american thing i mean oh completely isn't that crazy candy a holiday to just to eat candy. Yeah, that, I mean, that would you get any more yeah, American us. than that? <laughs> but yeah, I do love it. There's some Halloween myths debunked. Oh my goodness, her debunking all the myths. But <laughs> speaking of Halloween candy, there's actually a study from the American Dental Association that finds that 76% of dentists actually give out candy on Halloween. Because they're like, yeah, candy's actually not that bad for you. No, so. you just gotta not. brush your teeth and floss and stuff. Yeah, Anything in moderation. Yeah, I mean, exactly. if you soak your teeth in chocolate, of course, it's not good for you. But and anything in moderation. Yet on one day, we grab as much candy as possible, <laughs> and then parents are like, okay, you can have as much as you can eat tonight, but it's and then it's going day, away. <laughs> so that's still in moderation, right? No, it's <laughs> not how it works. That's a lot of what time, but actually, Kristen, chocolate is the favorite from the American Dental Association because chocolate is really easy to get off of your teeth. Mm. So if you eat it, it's really easy to take off. It's not that bad. It doesn't mess you up completely. It doesn't stick so. to your teeth. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. So that was actually recommended by doctors. I have a quick question for you guys. Yes. If Okay. This is a scenario. If you were at a friend's house, um, say a sleepover or, I mean, I guess guys have sleepovers sometimes. Of course. Mm. Yeah, um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> say you forgot your toothbrush. Mm-hmm. Would you use a close friend's toothbrush if you needed to? No, I just put toothpaste on my finger and use that. Or mouthwash. I would not use somebody's toothbrush. Ew. Or I wait till I get home the next day. Yeah. So either skip yep. or use a finger as a toothbrush. <laughs> Don't even use fingers. Taylor, Never I'm like, resort. oops, I did that. Nope. <laughs> no, I did it. I did oh, it. No, no fingers. But I've had someone like ask if they could borrow my toothbrush. And I've had someone be like, you could just use mine. And I both times I was like, I mean, I, I don't... I don't know. No. I don't no, know how I feel about that. I, I don't think I could do that. That's a little weird. Wasn't there a Seinfeld episode like this? Probably. <laughs> Sounds like a I Seinfeld think, yeah. episode. <laughs> <laughs> but like, okay, let me ask you why. Like, why wouldn't you? Um, I just think, I don't know. Something that personal. That's basically like making out with your best friend. Oh, well, not- what, what if it's a significant other? Would you use theirs? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> Still no. <laughs> I would just use my finger. Yeah, like you do at camp or something, or um, mouthwash. Just True. Use that. I mean, I would just yeah. I don't know. I don't know how I feel, but I was curious because it's come up a few times. In that <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I've never really been in that situation before. I don't think where I've had to. Do that. I would, I'll just say I'm skipping. Yeah. Or chew yeah. gum. Or something. And gum. Yeah, just, that just cleans your teeth. See, <laughs> I know, but it'll keep my breath. My teeth. Yeah, it's so cool. Bath wash. It doesn't clean your teeth, but it makes your breath smell good. No, it definitely cleans your teeth. It There's has no way. Yes, it does. It has some sort of thing in it that cleans your teeth. <laughs> well, there, done. That's why <laughs> There's everyone, a thing in there. I ev- know. Everyone needs to carry around a portable toothbrush that clips to your key keychain and everything. Or put a- it in your purse. Actually, I did have my dentist lived in my neighborhood when I was a kid. Actually, oh, she no. lived right across the street from us. Did she give out toothbrushes for Halloween. Yes. She yeah. gave out tooth. Well, she gave out these little mini oh, pouches, toothbrush, um, toothpaste, and I think there was maybe gum in there. So at least you got gum out of yeah. it. But yeah, she did Rip do off. that. She was one of the thirty percent that don't give out candy. <laughs> yeah. My goodness, thirty percent. Well, yeah. J- uh, How he said that seventy percent of oh, dentists yeah. give out candy. Seventy six percent. Yes. Okay. Seventy six. So twenty five percent. Chocolate's the best, and they say stay away from hard candy. So. Hmm. Mm. Good to know. I'm going to eat it all regardless. <laughs> <laughs> candy corn. Yeah, we're not we're not sticking away from candy. If you want to give us some, please send it to the radio station here on campus, the Beasley Media Complex. But right now, we have Wild Montana Skies by John Denver.
And now back to your favorite morning talk show, The Morning App on 90.5 WASU. Welcome back, y'all. Um, I am super pumped because it is almost Halloween time. And, well, actually, I'm kind of nervous, too, because I still have no idea what I'm going to be. But, it's okay. I'm it, you know, like, in college, I feel like we always make our own costumes, so I'm not too worried about it. There has never been a Halloween in college where I have not waited until October 30th to figure it out. <laughs> so, don't worry, you have time. Are you still going to go trick-or-treating even though it's going to be out on Tuesday? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to be in bed. <laughs> yeah, same. I feel like I've reached that age. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, you know, October, you're dressing up. Sometimes you kind of want to know if you're going to be in a couple costume or a single costume. And, well, I'm not sure if I'm going to be or not, but... Ooh. Um, <laughs> Save that for the relationship yeah. Yeah, later ooh. on today. <laughs> <laughs> um, so there's this woman who, she lives in London, and she had a really bad breakup, and I kind of can understand where she's coming from in this situation. Um, she had a really bad breakup, so she decided to try the online dating thing. Um, which is kind of relevant uh, for us today. Mm -hmm. But um, so she started talking to this guy, kind of fell in love um, after six months of talking. And they even said, I love you at that point. Found out she was catfished. She said, I love you before she met him. Uh, Yeah, that's what the article says. She Mm -hmm. was 33. um, And the guy that she fell in love with um, wasn't the guy who she thought he was. It, It was a different complete name so she thought his name was ronnie it was really alan and the guy was 53 <gasps> common and she mistake was 33 yeah um and so she was super upset about the whole situation oh, yeah. which i don't blame her no, at of course. all yeah so you know what she did she went and searched the image that the guy used because it clearly wasn't his picture mm-hmm. found this guy who lived in turkey who's a model and that was his picture reached out to him and they're actually dating now. <gasps> Is that not awesome? What? I believe everything happens for a reason, and the situation clearly states that. Oh, my yeah. god! How they met? In person? Yeah. Turkey model? Mm-hmm. Turkey okay. model. <laughs> yes. That's, that's incredible that she got catfished, and she said she decided to turn that around. I'm going to date the guy that the picture you used. I'm going to go date him instead. Oh, yeah. That's amazing. You know, I think it... Well, I think it's also, like, really bold on her end to be like... Just to let somebody know, like, hey, someone's using your picture to try and make me fall in love with them. I'm b- heartbroken <laughs> over this, but I just thought you should know, like, I think you're a very amazing person. I thought you're the person I fell in love with. Like, that's a lot. And now yeah. they're dating. I know. I think it's so awesome. It's like a revenge story, too. Uh, yeah. Seriously. <laughs> it's like, you did this to me. Look at me. I'm doing better now. Now like, I actually want to be with. dating the model. Yeah. <laughs> uh, to be honest, I can't imagine being the person catfishing someone else. I really can't. It takes a special type of person to be able to do that to someone. I think and not mentally, a good kind of special. Yeah. That's all, the, that mm-hmm. is honestly kind of one of the worst things that you could do in a relationship. Because you know that this whole online dating thing is a leap in itself. Like, you know that that's risky. And so you're just putting this other person in a very vulnerable spot. And you're, and you're lying to them. Yeah. You are lying. It's a lie. That's why I honestly, like, I've never been a fan of online dating. I think it's way too easy to be a liar. I think it's way too easy to be what you want to be and not who you are. Yeah. Because, like, in person, you, like... (laughs) That's why we like it. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I think, because in person, like, yeah, you can still lie, but I think it's much easier to catch someone in a lie or much easier for someone not to lie to you because you can't look at... You have to... It takes a lot more to look someone in the eyes and yeah. say a lie to them. I think it also is a lot harder. Or it's a lot easier for somebody to lie online, too, because they don't physically... They know that they're talking to a person, but they're like, oh, this is just Taylor Ann. You know, it's this just is just words. a person on my yeah. screen. It's not an actual human. And then you don't realize the damage that you're actually doing to that mm-hmm. person, you know? Yeah. 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 No. Because I... you're putting mm-hmm. all your trust into somebody mm-hmm. and then you're you're just lying the whole time man that's just really messed up it's one mm-hmm. of the messed up things you could do well i think it's just so easy to be who you want to be more than who you are on the lo- online yeah i really do because yeah. like think about it like on instagram on facebook all the pictures we put up it always it personifies like our best version of ourselves and all this stuff but in reality we're not always like that and if you're dating someone online they're not going to see that they're mm-hmm. not going to see your faults because unless you want them to see that, it's not going to be there. Yeah. And you know what's even scarier about Mm. this whole online dating generation Mm. is that 
there are kids right now that are growing up mm -mm. like with this as a normality. It, it is something that they have a cell phone. They are 10, 11, 8-year-olds have cell phones and they're susceptible to this and they're already filtering their lives. They're already saying, okay, well, let me put the best version online of myself that I can. And actually, I think that cell phones are just becoming probably for the younger generation, a source of bullying too. So like, oh, we, yeah. like as oh, yeah. in the dating generation, old, a little bit older, lying, catfishing, but the younger kids that have these cell phones and these online social platforms, mm -hmm they're getting bullied like no other and i don't know what are your guys' thoughts on young kids with cell phones what happened in the old-fashioned days of bullying where you stuck a kid's head in the toilet and like come oh. on get a swirly <laughs> yeah, what Put him in the it's locker. not even a thing Man. anymore <laughs> i mean i'm not days. saying bullying is good at all but now, still now, now we have to tax them and bully them <laughs> yeah see it's, it's crazy because i didn't get my first cell phone till i was 10 i think and it wasn't even like an actual like smartphone it was the flip a, phone? It was, a, it was a track phone, actually. It was like a prepaid one, so I could only do calls and texts on it. <laughs> uh -huh. So it was like my mom needed me. She could call my phone. And then I didn't get a real cell phone until like two years later. And now like a lot of kids younger, like there was one time I was at work, and um, a lady came in to buy an iPad for her daughter. Her daughter is seven. Her daughter Yikes. is seven years old. She was buying her an iPad. And that was like, whoa, that's that's mm -hmm. a lot. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I used to babysit these kids uh, when I was in high school, so I'd say about eight years ago and eight to ten years ago this girl she was probably like one one and a half almost two she knew how to use an ipad better than i did like what yeah she could like play music she knew how to play her favorite tv show and like she's an infant like a toddler almost like i it freaked me out i'm not gonna lie I nannied for two whole weeks once, didn't last long, but <laughs> <laughs> I nannied for this family, and she was too, and she did have her own cell phone. It, the the texting, and dis, uh, texting and calling was disabled, but, I mean, she couldn't go to sleep without her cell phone. Isn't that scary? But, like, yeah. uh, what's the purpose of a cell phone if you can't text or call? It was, it was basically they took their old iPhone disabled it and let her use it kind of as an iPod, iPad type okay. deal. Um, so she couldn't text a call, but technically she did have a cell phone. She was so too. it was an iPhone. Yeah. So but it had like apps and stuff like that. She okay. mostly just played apps on it or games. Um, okay, that's not as bad then. So it's like a mini version of what? an iPad. But still. Give her a stuffed animal. Wow, why do we need to give her a phone okay, to go to the sleep? Okay, the first the the main issue to me is the fact that she couldn't go to bed without it. Yeah, that's as what, parents, okay, yeah, like okay. that's an issue. Uh -huh. You know, I understand if it's a blanket where you're cuddling up with it or if it's a teddy bear. You do not – it's not comfortable to cuddle up to an iPhone. Nor, <laughs> nor is it good for you. Can you – like the microwaves and all that kind of stuff, I'm sure it's messing with their brain or something. Well, okay. See, I was talking to my mom about this too. And she mentioned though, she was like, well, if I had this when I was parenting – what what you know we give um kids pacifiers they're crying pop mm -hmm. a pacifier in their mouth that's what these phones are yeah that's they're true. crying you pop a phone in front of their face it's just a whole nother realm of it and so it's like <laughs> stick a phone in their mouth <laughs> <laughs> well if you have this ability to to just make your kids stop crying what would you do as a parent it's a really interesting topic and i don't know what i would do i mean i hope i don't do that i hope that my kids grow up without a self, I mean, I didn't get a cell phone until I was 12. Same. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, Sixth that's grade. still young when you think about it. That is still young. But to be honest, being a waitress, I've seen that like most kids nowadays have to have an iPad or iPhone to watch something while they're waiting for their food. Yep. And kids can't be patient without that now. Yeah. It's like they're so dependent. It's like, it's so, to me, I hate that. Like, I never want my kid, I don't want my family to go out to eat and we sit down as a family. And are all on our phones, even right. my two-year-old. Right. Like, that is so sad. Like, think about it. Most families don't even sit down to eat dinner together anymore. See, as a, uh, I'm going to call myself an adult right now, I still prefer <laughs> the coloring book at a restaurant than my phone. I get upset if I don't get a coloring book with crayons. <laughs> I, I wish they'd still, like, treat me as a kid. Like, I want my coloring book. I want my... Tick, uh, what is it? Uh, tic tac toe. Yeah, tic tac toe. I want my tic tac toe. I want my <laughs> color inside the lines when I always mess up. Like oh that's gosh. what I want. It bothers Coloring me that we book. don't. Where do are you going to eat? <laughs> See, here's the. You never here's got one. It's oh. coloring sheet. Gosh. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Here's the difference, though, between the pacifier and the, like, cell phone. Cell phone is damaging your short-term attention span, and mm. the pacifier just makes you have buck teeth. So pick your poison here, you know? Well, also, uh, being on technology in general, it doesn't, like, it's scientifically proven. You have to have human contact in order to create empathy. 
And so we as humans have less and less contact with each other personally. And it's it's creating a lot of issues. Like people are less connected with humans. Yeah. What? <laughs> My boss actually just recently switched to a flip phone. And she is maybe 26 mm-hmm. years old, had an iPhone, grew up in this generation, flipped or switched to a flip phone. I mean, just think about it. I feel like we're missing so much of our lives because we're always looking down. We're always looking on a screen or something. And that has to be affecting us in some way, shape or form. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, it is. <laughs> you know, they say, like, don't stand by your microwave because of, like... I don't, I don't know science really well at all. Myth. Just, but I'm sure, like, the technology, like, it's not good to have something that's by your face. And uh, Okay, I'm going to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> bottom, bottom line, pacifiers, bad. Cell phones, bad. If your kid's acting up, stick them in the car. <laughs> just, just go, just run away from society and everything. No, I'm just kidding. Because society is great. You know why? Because it has Beyonce. Right now, Love on Top by Beyonce on 90.5 WASU.
app on 90.5 WASU and WASURadio.com. Welcome back to the morning app. And we've got your Ray the weather forecast here. Kristen, you've wanted it cold and it's been semi cold. <laughs> it's it's cold at night and then it's hot during the day and then you have to adjust for summer, fall, and winter all in one day. That's, uh-huh. that's the weather, guys. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> the world wasn't ready for this and you like, oh, bring it on, bring it on. So now it's trying to help you out. But. Well, I appreciate the cold nights and mornings. High of 73 for today, low of 43. Saturday for the football game. High of 69, low of 44. WASU will be tailgating on Duck Pond Field. If you are going to the Coastal Carolina game, come join us. Spin our prize wheel. It's going to be a gorgeous day. Sunny um, next week, around 60s. Hopefully it'll get colder. Yeah, but. Okay, what's crazy is that later next week, like next weekend, mm-hmm. it's going to hit the 40s. Yes. 40s and 50s. So. Beautiful. I don't know about y'all, but uh, my freshman year in I think three years after that, every year it snowed on Halloween for yeah. the first time. The first snow of the year was on Halloween. I Even if it's it just like a sprinkle. Even yeah. if it's just a little bit of snow. It does always at least it snow by worries. October 31st mm-hmm. year. Mm. Well, <laughs> would you rather? Oh, would no. you rather have it snow or would you rather have it warm? Snow. I'd ra- at this point, I'd rather have it snow. Yeah. At this point. I'm over it now. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I want snow, but not the cold, if that makes sense. Exactly. No. I want to be snowed in my house so I can cuddle up with my dog and watch movies. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, cold. Like a, everything about the cold is great. No. The nice 30 degrees with the snow, and it's not too cold. Mm-hmm. No wind. It's, it's amazing. No, no wind. wind. I'm, I'm so down for cold, for snow, for everything. Just no wind. It, like... Breaks Agreed. your face, I feel like. I could live in the Arctic tundra if I wanted to. Just kidding. Probably not. But <laughs> Well, that was a nice little warm-up for my bigger segment of Would You Rather. And I-, I liked them last week. And here we go. Would you rather go into the past and meet your ancestors or go into the future and meet your great-great-grandchildren? Ancestors. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. No. Easy, easy no. question right there. Yes. To be honest, I'd be afraid to see what the future would look like. I'm not going to lie. I don't think no. I'm ready. Yikes. Yeah, I don't think I'm ready to see that. I have faith. I think the future will be okay. You all are wrong. If the future's still there. I mean. <laughs> Who knows what's going to happen Recycle people. <laughs> Recycle. <laughs> I'd like to know that the values that I passed down, like, still made it all the way down that far. Like, answer, what's in the past is in the past. Like, see, we can't change that. I want to know what, what I did affect, mm-hmm. like, positively mm-hmm. in the future. I think that is a very good way to look at it. And I definitely think that whether you want to go forward or backwards, I mean, it just kind of speaks on a little bit of who you are Mm -hmm. because I love history. I especially love um, family history, where we've settled in America, where we came from. I think that that would be so interesting to see what has shaped us to today. I mean, I, it's basically going back. I'd be going back to... So, like, you want to go forward to see your grandkids? It would be as if they wanted to come back and see where they got their values from. Yeah. They wanted to see Ooh. you, you know? Yeah. So you're thinking of it forward, but if you think about it... No, stop. J- just <laughs> Josh. You Joshua. Joshua. <laughs> go forward. Forget about the past. I would tell them if I I was went, getting deep there. If I went, yeah, I interrupted that. If <laughs> I went forward, I'd be like, do not come back and watch me. If you have a time machine, do not come back and see what I did. My life, no. Not the blueprint you should follow. Like... The so, value, so you're telling yes. me you're telling me you wouldn't want to go back and meet your ancestors, see where your family history came from? Because that's what I want to do. My family my, messed up enough. Yeah. I don't need to see what's going on. Yeah, because my family's from Jamaica, so I want to mm-hmm. I want to know mm-hmm. like how that happened with them being there, like what happened during like slavery times, mm-hmm. and see like how that really was because it impacted islands yeah. too. So mm-hmm. yeah, no, my um, great aunt she actually like is huge into finding family history. Um, on my biological side and I found out like once I met my biological family that we have a great great aunt from the colonial times that was scalped by Indians and they traced back to her grave and like went and visited it and stuff so wow. I I mean I want to go further back than that I want to go back to like where I'm actually from like Sweden like those places Europe um, like back in the days where I can't even imagine being but um, see, even if, if I went back in time, I'd be the kind of person that end up ruining something, like screwing it up. I'd touch something, <laughs> break everything, and it would change. I'm yeah, like, can't, I can't, I can't deal with that. So, <laughs> I, I'm going forward. Let's <laughs> move on. <laughs> That's fair. You would knock over like a glass and start a war of some sort. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Knowing your luck. <laughs> Say something. No, you're right. Okay. Would you rather have a? This is kind of along the same lines. Would you rather have a rewind button or a pause button on your life? Wow. Rewind. That's hard. Pause. Rewind. 
pause. Pause. Because honestly, there are so many times where I have thought about what I would say if I had time to say it. But in the moment, like, if I could pause, I don't have to rewind because I can think about what I want to say before I say it. Ooh, that is a... Ooh. No. Yes, Taylor Ann. Thank Good you. logic no, right there. No, that makes a ton of sense. No, nah, because, okay, say you want to uh, tell someone something or do something and it doesn't work out. Then if you, you know, if you pause and think about what you have to do first, then you do it and it still doesn't work out. But if you do it and then rewind, you can, like, correct it. No. See what I'm saying? I think... No. It, um, once again, I believe everything happens for a reason, and if it doesn't work out, it's not going to work out. I mean, same, but... I don't think I would want to rewind, because I think a lot of the things... Okay, so, say I was young and doing something, or I was with somebody, or just something like that, and it didn't work out. In the moment, I would be so heartbroken. I'd be like, mm-hmm. yes, I want to rewind. I want to fix this. I want this to last. But I genuinely think that those lessons have mm-hmm. made me into mm-hmm. the person I am today. And if I had changed those lessons, Completely. sure, it was heartbreak in the moment, or sure, it was you know, really traumatic, or I was not liking the outcome of what had happened. But I, if I rewind, re- 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 rewind? Rewound. Rewound? Rewound? Rewinded. Rewound. If I went back in time and changed it, I would not be the person I am today with the lessons I have today. But if I can pause, there are so many moments in life where I just wish I could pause and take everything in. Mm-hmm. Stop mm-hmm. trying to be inspirational, motivational like me, okay? That's my <laughs> yeah, job. Cut get it out, get out of here. <laughs> get out of here. I'm not trying. Yeah, this is not the Christian we know. <laughs> no, I'm you, being Alex? serious. I think that these are great questions, and they're really making me think. See, okay, I would hit rewind because I think in the instance, if I could just go back like five seconds really quick, if there's something I was going to say, something I was going to do, I could go back and fix it real quick. It only takes five seconds of your time. You know, we didn't say it's like a minute or a day. You know, like five seconds. That's what I'm thinking of in my head. <laughs> the little button on Netflix where it says go back yeah. 10 the little seconds. Button. It's, like, it's like the easy button on, on the staples. Like, easy. <laughs> Rewind. I feel, like, I feel like that would be so unhealthy because I would be so – I would want to fix everything. Yeah. You know, whereas with pausing, like – you still only get the one chance. You know what would be really valuable in this whole pause or rewind button? Is if you could only use it a certain number of times. Mm. That would make it even mm-hmm. more valuable. If I could Ooh. pause life all the time, I don't know. Would you still grow old while life is paused? But, but if you only had a few number of times to pause it, it would be such incredible moments that you would yeah. use it for. Uh, then, then i never use it. to be like, oh, there might be a better opportunity. <laughs> might, might be a better opportunity. I'd be 99. I'm like, shoot, i got to use it sometime. And uh, yeah, but then on your, la- on your deathbed, you could use it for a while because you could just keep pausing. But I wouldn't no, want to be like on my deathbed no forever. Else, yeah, <laughs> pause it. No but one think else about is it. You could say goodbye time. to all your family members. You could, but use you'd it. be in pain and dying. <laughs> yeah. Hey, no one said you're gonna die a bad death. Maybe you're just old and yeah, you maybe just you're, like, fall asleep. And go maybe to you're bed. making your way downtown, walking fast, faces past, and you're homebound. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. you did well, not hey, All I know is we can't hit the rewind button. All we can do is go forward and coming up on the morning app, we have your relationship topics as well as She Is Love on the app.
And now back to the morning app on 90.5 WASU. 8.46 on this lovely Friday morning. You Congratulations because you have made it to Friday. Long time coming. We say this every single week, but light at the end of the tunnel kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So happy doll. Friday. Yeah. It's Friday, and then I'm going to a wedding this weekend, so Ooh. we'll be around. I'm a groomsman, actually. Ooh. So, yeah. that that fun. I see my tux. I'm like, okay. Oh, you got a tux, oh, right. I'm like, I all see right, you. I see you, big dog. No. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are taking pictures. See yeah, yourself, in the, you see yourself in the mirror. I see you, how. Yeah, I made myself up. I'm like, Dang, dang, all right, I like it. <laughs> Who's that handsome devil? <laughs> uh, okay, guys, so I have decided to pull the plug on the Bumble bit because Shocker. I've <laughs> met somebody that I think is worth uh, maybe taking some time off and focusing on. You know, we like to call this tea time. <laughs> Spill the tea. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, Howard. I love it. No, yeah, I, you know... Um, I think it was great that we did do it because I think it does. Sh- I, at least I tried. I don't do online stuff clearly, um, and I think it did show a lot. Like there was just a bunch of gross m- guys who said they were looking for something and they weren't, and all that stuff. And it's really frustrating when you are ready to go out there and throw yourself out there again after like taking so much time to heal. Um, and it was really frustrating. And so I'm th- I'm thankful that we tried everything. Um, well. And- you're you're welcome. That, that, you know what, Kristen and Howie tried to set you up on a date, but I said no. I said, you know what, Taylor Ann, there's someone out there for you, and you know what, you found him. Yeah. Josh is so, taking credit here for something I'm, that I wow. don't think he gets credit for. You know for. what, I'm wow. going to take 40% of the credit, <laughs> maybe bump it up to 60 if they get married. I will give you 2% of the credit. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> this is blasphemy. This is what I hear. Too much. <laughs> I don't even know if I can give you 2%, Josh. Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, I love you, but. I worked hard. I mean, this was gonna happen whether she was on Bumble or not. I will jealous. say you guys did give like give me that little push to go back out there, um, because you know that guy that left his number on my uh, receipt when I was ra- waitressing mm-hmm. um, was just another step. But you know this guy I've known since my freshman year. We went on a blind date for a date function, um, and he's just kind of been there all along. And um, I don't know. I guess both me and him have been tired of kind of ignoring it. So we're, I don't know what's going on, but I'm just going to focus on that. Do you hear that, ladies? The girl of your, uh, the guy of your dream is right in front of you. Remember that. <laughs> Remember. I mean, honestly, right the there. best relationships do start from friendships. That's just, yeah. let's be honest here. He, I'm not going to lie. He's one of my best friends from college. Um, I have a few of them, but I mean, we've shared spring breaks together. We, I saw him when we went to the Clemson game sophomore year. We did a date function freshman year, like... It's been a lot. Isn't it weird, though, to think, since you guys have known each other for all four four or five years of college, that now you guys are finally dating? And don't you kind of just wish, well, why? what have we been doing for four years? But then, because I've, I've thought about that, too. But then I'm like, you know, I don't know if we were ready. I don't know if we would have been mm-hmm. as great as we are now if we had started earlier. We've actually talked about it. We're, we're not dating, just to be clear. But, oh, um, sorry. No, 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 you're good. We're, we're just we really, really good friends. Um, that are just hanging out all the time. Um, you just gonna see where things go. Yeah, like take things slow. There's no rush. Um, but no, we have talked about it. Me and him were completely different people freshman yeah. year. I mean, I truly believe that connection was still there, but I was not ready for him then, and he was not the guy I wanted at that time. Right. Um, and we've taken. We both had our hearts broken since then. Um, I was in a really unhealthy relationship. He got his heart broken for the first time. And so I think, Mm -hmm. you know, we learned a lot of lessons in order to be ready for each other. Yeah. I think that's a good way to look at it, too. Not, oh, we've been in the same place for four years and we're just now meeting when we're about to graduate, you know, because that's that was the kind of mentality I had at first. But then Mm -hmm. I was like, no, because I don't know if I'd be the same person for you. You know, I agree with that because there's times where like, oh, my goodness, we should have dated a long time ago. But when you're in college, especially this is both of you guys last year, right? He's mm-hmm. a senior too. He he's in grad school, but grad he'll school. be graduating so, at the same time. So all that time you've had to like evaluate yourself, learn about yourself, and just learn about other relationships that you have, mm-hmm. and kind of bring them into something better yeah. than ever before. So it'll work out. I think especially now because we're in college and we've changed so much in just four years. I mean, I know mm. I'm I'm I yeah. You used I'm, to be funnier. Oh. Wow. Oh, I had to throw it out there. 
savage. No, savage. but I mean, I am a completely different person. Yeah, so. no, I am too. I'm, I'm much stronger than I was before. And I think I needed, I also know who I am now. Um, and I think that's super important. Like, I don't, I truly believe you shouldn't be with someone else if you don't know who you are, because then you become what they want you to be. Yeah. I feel like it's a huge influence and I don't want to lose what I've worked on for three years being single. Um, and I, 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 I'm excited. I'm excited to see what happens. But, you know, we're both graduating. We both have no idea where we're going. So I think that's, you know, why we're taking things slow is just, yeah. I don't know what the future holds. I'm not going to let go of what this is, but I don't know. You know, I'm I, happy I don't for know. You, though. I think you're happy, and I'm 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 glad that you don't have to use Bumble anymore. Yeah, it wasn't working out anyways. <laughs> Who are we kidding? <laughs> <laughs> More than half, I would say, three fourths of the guys on there weren't actually looking for a relationship. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, that's, that's fair. Almost all. all of them. But <laughs> if you are in a relationship, I got 24 flirting romantic things you should do for your significant other. Aww. These are maybe along the term of guy for a girl, but you know, it could go either way. Uh, number one, obvious. Bring her flowers. Yes. Please do that a lot. Put it on Who her hood of her car. Love flowers. Put it at her doorstep. Surprise Date her. anything. Do, yeah. do it. I'm even telling you to do it. Do just it. even if it's you don't even have to buy flowers. Even if you just pick some off the side of the road and hand it to her on a hike, like that's the cutest thing you could ever. Now, Actually, don't that pick up. To me. <laughs> and pick I have up, it as my background on my phone. Now don't pick up grass. Flowers. Okay. Yeah, no, okay. yeah. Not we really go <laughs> grass. Yeah. Hey, but this person <laughs> used a grass uh, to like wound up the yeah. bound of flowers. So that's that's, a, that's okay. That's fine. Yeah. But a handful of grass, no. Yeah. No. Okay. <laughs> I'm allergic. All right, plan a weekend <laughs> escapade. Yeah. Wait, what? Escapade. You say es- escape. Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh. Come on. Isn't that from Nemo? <laughs> wow. Yes, it is from yeah. Nemo. But therefore, you are not allowed to use it. Oh. Okay. You're not Nemo. Either way. Plan a weekend. You know, yeah. go hang out, uh, theme park, mm-hmm. haunted house. I don't know, something. Even if you can't plan a weekend, if you, even if your guys' schedules are very, very busy, mm-hmm. plan a night. Just just a surprise her with a, you know what, I got this. You just show up. I have it all taken care of. That's the best thing ever. All right. Cook for her. Cook with her. Cook with teach her. Teach her how to cook. Well. Teach her how to survive. Or teach him. <laughs> that too. Yeah. Because, I mean, we all know the guys need it. <laughs> yes, sure. I need it. <laughs> Cooking together is really fun. All right, uh, this is a weird one. Create a video. I like. I'm all for it. I don't know. Like, nah. it, it's kind of spontaneous. It's kind of like funny. I don't know. Uh, no, that it could go multiple ways. You're right. Yeah, that's why I was like, hmm. um, no, dirty minds. Stop thinking. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I, I think that'd be fun. Like you know, like travel vloggers, they always have like this really cute where like he's holding your hand and she's walking with yeah. fun and the camera's on her. Uh, yeah, that'd be fun. I'm all for it. I wouldn't want a video. Because, I don't know, because then I think if you are, I mean, it's cute. It's cute. I think if you want to make a video, make a video. Mm -hmm. But I think I'd rather want, like, a love letter or something. You know, like, something that's not going to live in my computer. I would want something that I could hold. All right. Is that weird? No. Okay. You're weird. All right. Here, here's a good one. If you're a guy, plan a girl's trip for her. Like, get her best, like, text her best girlfriend to be like, hey, Come hang out. Like, I'm leaving. Have a girl's night. I think that's a good idea. Oh, I love that idea, actually. I think that's a good idea if you are leaving for the weekend or going on a business trip yeah. or something. Oh. Yeah. You know? But I, I think and, first I and think... foremost, I'd want time with you. Yeah. Well, if you are living together or something. Okay, I mean, yeah. That's yeah, yeah. true. If you're together yeah. 24-7, just yeah. to change things up a little bit, that's nice. That's true. All right. We got send her love messages. I, I always think it's nice to send that's her, you know, random, yeah. you know, I love you, random, oh, thinking about you, you know, sweet. stuff like that. I, I think that's good. Clean up the house. Do that. Yeah. Like, that Honestly, I would, nice just hope, I would hope that if I'm with a guy, he would just do that naturally. He It doesn't have to be something you need to do to, like, show Special, affection because, yeah. honestly, I I can't. You need to clean up after yourself. Yeah. That's <laughs> actually not going kind to of do just it. a requirement. Yeah. <laughs> but if you're wow. going yeah. to go above and beyond and, like sweep and, and clean the whole house, you know, that's something a little special. But, yeah. I mean, we're adults here. Clean up after you. Yeah, thank you, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, come on, guys. These are some basic things. We can do it. We can make them happy. That's going to do it for here, for us, here on The Morning Show. Wow, it's been a long week. We'll be back here really Monday does. morning at 8 with Molly, and we'll kick off another week with you guys on The Morning App.